If you're in the market for a new furnace, you might have just gotten a few bids and now be asking yourself, should I get a single stage furnace? Should I get a two stage furnace? Do I need a variable speed motor? Do I need a high efficiency? And if you're finding yourself overwhelmed and wanting some clarity, you've come to the right place because in this video, we're going to talk about some of the common considerations you should take to make sure you're getting the best HVAC for your home and the differences between the various types of furnaces on the market. And this video is actually in response to a comment that was posted recently that I'd like to share that was actually a statement, not as much of a question, but we do read the comments and I thought it was a great comment because it summed up the purpose of a two-stage furnace in one word. So I'm going to read this quote first before we dive into the content. And we've actually already made a few videos about modulating systems as well as inverter systems like the Daikin Fit. So if you haven't checked out those videos already, I'll make sure to link those at the end so you can watch those videos next. Johnny Antonio said, I've lived in a house with a single-stage system, 80% efficient and now live in a two-stage 96% efficient and I'm much more comfortable now. Two-stage should be the standard. Well, first off, Johnny, thank you for taking the time to chime in. And this comment sums up the primary reason for considering a two-stage furnace and that is comfort. Notice how he didn't say it was more efficient or point out any of the other considerations. Even though it is more efficient, it was mainly a mention of comfort. And I'm going to explain why they are more comfortable in this video, as well as what features are available out there to provide you with the most comfortable HVAC for your home. And before I go into that, if you have additional questions after watching this video, make sure you post them in the comment section below because we read and respond to all the comments in the video. And we also use those comments, as you can see, uh, to create content about the topics that people are most interested in. And this is because in addition to two-stage furnaces, you also have step up that's even more comfortable. These are things like modulating systems, uh, but we'll talk about what makes the systems more comfortable and why people will enjoy them or prefer them over a single stage system. And in the air conditioner space, they also make two stage or multi-stage air conditioners, as well as variable speed inverter driven air conditioners, uh, which we talk about a lot on this channel because they are extremely efficient. And especially in the heat pump space, inverter heat pumps are not just more efficient and more comfortable, but they are also the quietest systems on the market. For example, the Daikin Fit and VRV Life systems both, both make around 40 decibels on startup, which is extremely quiet by comparison with a traditional air conditioner that will be around 60 decibels on startup. But before we dive into the benefits of the various features, let's explain, actually explain what a two stage versus single stage is and how they work differently and why this will translate into a more comfortable home. Now, a single stage system functions in a way that you might expect from the title. It is a single stage system, which means it is either 100% on or 100% off. However, a two stage system works differently in that it will start off in first stage when the system first kicks on and if it's unable to satisfy temperature within five to 15 minutes, depending on how the system is set up, it will kick into second stage or high stage in order to finish heating or cooling your home. Now I already touched about on the benefit of this on startup and that is number one, that it's quieter. But the second added benefit is that you are actually going to get more even heating or cooling because when it first kicks on, rather than blasting heat or cooling throughout the whole house, it will actually start to trickle and heat up or cool things down more gradually, which leads to a temperature temperature, more even temperature throughout your home. And the most common complaint that we're addressing in people's homes, uh, besides sound, is often uneven heating or cooling. The reason uneven heating is a common complaint with a single stage system is because there is almost always a few duct runs in the house that don't get very good airflow and a few duct runs in your house that get too much airflow. And as a result, those areas get hotter or colder than the rest of your house and you end up with very uneven temperature distribution. And this is where a two-stage or modulating system comes in to save the day. And like I mentioned, we have a few videos linked at the end that talk specifically about inverter air conditioners like the Daikin Fit, as well as what a modulating furnace is. That explains how they work, but the bottom line is that both of these systems actually run longer, and by providing running longer run times, they're able to actually increase your efficiency and increase your comfort. The reason they are more efficient, even though they are running longer, is because the equipment is designed to kick on at a lower capacity and therefore it is pulling less power and also burning less gas in the case of a natural gas furnace because it is running in a lower stage of heat on startup. And the reason you will get a more even temperature spread is that the fan is running for longer at lower speeds and rather than getting blasted in certain parts of the home that might get better airflow, the house will get more airflow for a longer period of time 
which tends to make the house have more even temperatures throughout the various rooms because you're getting more consistent airflow. So if you're wondering whether or not it's worth it to get a two-stage or a variable speed inverter system, here's the questions that you wanna ask yourself. Number one, how much do you care about comfort and how comfortable are you with your current system? If your current system is a single-stage system and you've been happy with how it's working, then you might not see the added benefit of a two-stage system. Me personally, we have an inverter at our house and at the office, and I do like the flexibility of having multiple fan speeds in a system that ramps up and down. Our inverter condenser sits right outside our bedroom window, and we can't hear it when it kicks on or when it's running, and this is one of the best benefits of having an inverter or a two-stage system, for example, because this principle applies in that it is going to be a more comfortable system if you have multiple stages. Now, if you don't care about comfort or you're comfortable with a single stage system, then it might not make sense for you. And that's just the truth. The second consideration, however, is efficiency. Now, if you have a high efficiency single stage furnace and compare it to an 80% single stage furnace, comfort will be identical. The biggest difference will be in savings. And the reason is because high efficiencies keep more heat from the combustion process inside your home. This is why you will always put in a smaller BTU rated furnace by comparison to an 80% system because more heat stays inside the home. For example, the output rating of a 100,000 BTU 96% furnace is the exact same as an 80% efficient furnace that is 120,000 BTUs. So if you're looking primarily to save a buck rather than getting a two-stage system for comfort, I would maybe consider a high efficiency single stage system since you're not really looking for the comfort features, but you are looking for the cost savings. Oftentimes something that isn't talked about is also that repairs on the high-end systems can be more expensive. So depending on how much you use your HVAC will determine on whether or not you break even or save money. But at the end of the day, if you have a quieter system and that's important to you and makes your home more comfortable, then in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. Like I said, that's what I have at my house. We have an inverter system, but that's because comfort is important to me. And I also like installing the high-end equipment for myself personally. So that way I can see how it works and I can honestly say whether or not something is a reliable piece of technology based on my personal experience in my home. So if you're on the fence about whether or not you should get a single stage versus two stage, in summary, it's all about comfort. Comfort. Do you want a system that's quieter with more even heating in your home? If your home is already comfortable, then the answer may be no, in which case a single stage system probably works fine. But if you've had chronic issues with hot spots and cold spots, then getting a properly sized two stage system might be the perfect solution for your home. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver, Colorado, or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement and there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service so you can stay up to date when we start servicing your metro and as promised earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now, talking both about modulating systems as well as about one of our favorite inverter systems, the Daikin Fit. So make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already, and we will catch you on the next episode.